morning it is the start of a shadow hunters reading vlog i don't know if this is going to be a shadow hunter specific reading vlog or just a reading vlog for like my return to ya but i feel like i could probably get enough content with just shadow hunters books so we'll call it a shadow hunters reading vlog i am currently a buddy reading chain of gold with M over from perfect paperbacks and it's so much fun so far i mean i'm only 94 pages in that's as far as i got last night but i've already added so many annotations let's take a look so the way that i did this is my first annotations like my first round of annotations matched the tab color and now this time around they um are just in black pen so like this is a new annotation i've just been like writing a bunch of stuff in and I also like to draw on the runes I did this the first time that I read though see I just like love the look of an annotated book a well loved annotated book and I love that I've been able to add more annotations in the set around. There's Gavin. What you doing, Gav? So this vlog is going to be spoiler free. I'm not gonna post any spoilers, but I will just have my emotions. But so far for the setup of this book, I'm just remembering how much I love the characters and how intriguing the setup is kind of like this forbidden love type scenario and where from before we go into this we kind of know that grace has james ensnared in some sort of weird thing where he's just like obsessed with her no one really knows why and then we have cordelia who's just like so brave and strong and then we have lucy who's just like this little bright chatterbox and i definitely relate to lucy a lot which is why i used her character card as a bookmark so there you go of the two like main girl protagonists, I would say that Lucy's definitely closer personality to me because I tend to be like very chatty and have a bright personality. But yeah, I mean, and I also adore Lucy's storyline too. Like it's so intriguing and it has to do with like, both James and Lucy's storylines have to do with the demon powers that they may have inherited from their mother who is half warlock, half shadow hunter. And Tessa Gray is just like one of my all-time favorite characters. So it's nice seeing her again too. And we have some snippets of her and Will and it's just great. It's just great. So with that being said, I do need to go to work. It is early in the morning, but I just, while my face was fresh, I wanted to come on and give a little update about this book and my reading progress. And I'm just really enjoying my reread so far, only 94 pages in, but it just feels feels good to be back in this world.
hello happy friday afternoon and um i just got off work and then i took a little nap because my brain was just completely fried from like staring at a screen all day even though i have blue light locking glasses and like these are also just regular glasses i find that i get a headache and i just feel like i can't focus so sometimes just laying down and not like staring at a screen maybe sleeping a little bit helps me a bit thinking of sleeping I have been reading Chain of Gold for my reread and last night I literally fell asleep with this book open on my lap and I read like 20 pages. Like I was just not, I don't even know what page it was. I was just like not really conscious. I think I got to page like 130 something and I just want to read a lot this weekend. I have like a lot of time to read this weekend so my plans are basically to do that. <laughs> and i want to get through a big chunk of chain of gold tonight like i don't think i'll finish this tonight because i'm only on page 100 something my free reads just tend to go slower in general because you know the story more you can just kind of soak up the ambiance so i'm hoping to get like a good chunk through this and then i would like to start chain of iron by like sunday i have such an ambitious tbr this month oh i'm also maybe i'll do some more journaling tonight i don't know I have such an ambitious TBR this month and I feel like I'm not actually going to get through all the books because I overextended myself. Let's take a look. So yeah, lots of books. So like I think the ones that I want to like at least prioritize um, are Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and Crier's War. Those are like gonna be like my four like YA books that I read this month. And then Crown Guild Bones comes out towards the end of the month. So that could definitely like be pushed to my May tbr but like like those four books are really like what i want to get done this month and i feel like having only four or five like big ya fantasy books is like good for the month and then if i like want to read more during the month like picking up romance manga other things and that's how i've been getting my like reading to be more essentially is by those books that are just like very quick and easy to get through yeah and then also having an audiobook going as well helps bring up like the total amount of books that i read and it's not a competition but i just do like to read a lot and i like to hit certain numbers it's fun like i didn't even hit 100 books in 2020 but now 2021 i've just been like reading a lot and i just like really enjoy reading a lot but sometimes i have to tell myself okay like it's fine to like do your other hobbies i don't know it's just like weird it's just weird i picked the audiobook for hand on the wall by maureen johnson because i read the first two books in the series on audio so i like enjoy listening to truly devious on but i got through like a lot of it on my walk i only have six hours left which is i listened to it in two times speed so that's just three hours of listening so i can get through this audiobook very fast because it's like now light really late like i can take gavin on longer walks but then i want to listen to some middle grades some contemporary like these are the kinds of books that i like to listen to on audio so i also have yoke by mary hk Choi. i might pick that one up next project by courtney summers bridge of souls by ve schwab so this is just me like rambling on but yeah this is my tbr for the month you want to go on a walk <gasps> you want to go on a walk you want to go to beach oh yes you do oh yes you do say hi your camera oh oh we're gonna go on a walk huh baby yeah it's a saturday and i'm reading chain of gold for my reread and i'm on page 296 so i'm pretty much at the halfway point and i'm just <laughs> loving this on my reread like these books are so fun to reread even though i annotated it the first time like i'm picking up on so much more and annotating it even more than i had the first time and i'm writing so many notes in the margins i am just like really enjoying this and i'm picking up a whole motorcycle gang just rolled by it's fine i'm picking up on so many more details my second bring it around and i just love it and i'm sitting outside because the weather is literally so beautiful and i'm about to take little gavin here on a walk as you can see he is people watching he would like to go on the walk as well i don't think i'm gonna listen to my audiobook on the walk today just because it's so nice like sometimes you just want to like observe the ambient sound but yeah, we're gonna go for a walk along the beach. I think it's gonna be a beautiful time. And then I'm gonna come back, exercise, probably read some more, and then go to Barnes and Noble and Chipotle. They are next to each other for dinner, so like this is my ideal day. And then come back from Chipotle. Probably gonna watch 
books and stuff and then back to reading. Is it ambitious to say that I will finish this all tonight? Maybe, but like I have the time and I've been going kind of slow with this. So like maybe it'll be nice just to finish it tonight because now I'm just like really into the story. So we'll see. But yeah, as of right now, I'm going for a walk with my little puppy who is getting impatient. You want to go on a walkie? <gasps> walkie time? He wants to go on a walk. So I just love my dog, but also I just love like getting out and going somewhere and like walking every day and just like living on the beach is my dream. So it's Sunday night, um, Sunday, April 11th, and I was still reading Chain of Gold. It's definitely taking me longer to get through than I originally thought, but like, that's totally fine. I'm just enjoying my time reading this so, so much. And so I'm currently on page 457, and there's like about 130 pages left. So like, I just know that it's like literally about to kick up in pace and intensity and so like I feel like I'm gonna fly through like the last 100 pages or so tomorrow maybe I'll start a little bit of Chain of Iron but if not I'll probably start Tuesday and I just I just love the Shadow Hunters like I love these big chunky books and just like completely immersing myself in them also the second time around I've been tabbing way more and like I have just added on to my tab so I feel like here's where I am so like this top part is like what has like all of my tabs with like both reads and then the bottom part is just the first read and you can definitely see that there's a huge difference in the amount of tabs love having books and like writing my thoughts in and like i have so many things that i'm reading in writing in here and like cassandra claire is just so good at like writing a ragtag group of friends that are like on a mission and like it's just so good i just love the friendship dynamics and like all of her characters she just has this ability to make each and every relationship between all the characters so unique which is why she can thrive with like 20 plus books because every time there's a new trilogy or something like it's just in the same world but new and different and inventive like i don't know i just love it so much and like i'm trying to think of what my favorite storyline in this part is but like grace blackthorn is just so suspicious and like it's so interesting seeing her relationship with james because it's definitely toxic but yet i feel like there's more to grace's story and background story that we will find out that like she's not like just 100 percent just like pure evil either so like i always love that kind of intrigue i adore cordelia as a character she's just so like brave and just puts her best foot forward and just like wants to be a hero and she has the sword cortana which definitely is doing powerful things it's the sword that's on the cover here and yeah and then i of course also adore lucy and her storyline with her like special power there's just so many different storylines so many different things that are encompassed in these books and that is like just why i truly adore them so so much and also the fact that like I've literally been reading this series for like probably 10 years now which is just crazy so it's just kind of nice when you can grow with a book series and it's kind of like this defining thing in your life definitely I'm glad that I'm taking the time to reread Chain of Gold before I read Chain of Iron because now I'm just like so like into the story I'm remembering all the details and I'm just like so like ready to jump from like the shock ending of this into the next one and I've heard the ending is like emotionally devastating so I'm not ready but I'm also ready you know I just filmed like a whole five minute clip and it was not recording the entire time so that's good however I did just finish Chain of Gold and I loved it so much like the ending was so insane it's definitely like an emotional cliffhanger the situation that all the characters have gotten themselves into but like cassandra claire just manages to pack so much in here it's such a good balance of character development and plot and like it's just so good so this book did take me like quite a bit to get through i'm somebody reading with m and i love seeing her reactions because it's her first time reading and like every time she says something i'm like oh oh yeah like that 
seems like maybe maybe you're on to something. I don't know because obviously I don't want to spoil it, but I'm just like, I'm like, hmm, maybe you know something. I think this might be one of my most tabbed books now. I've read it twice and added some tabs in the second time I read. I'm just obsessed with the series. I really hope I love Chain of Iron, but like the the way that this one ended was just insane and like oh, it's just so good. Okay, hello. So I am trying out this new camera angle so that I can actually have the bookshelves in the back because I feel like I miss having my shelves in the back of my like vlog footage and this seems to actually be pretty okay. We have a little Gavin over here. Gavin, do you have anything to say to the viewers? Thank you for your input. So, I am reading Chain of Iron. Yes, I finally started and I'm so excited. And I'm on page 80. So like, so the, the arrangement at the end of Chain of Gold is happening now in Chain of Iron, like at the beginning. And I'm just like so anxious about everything. And like, you know when there's something that like could be done to solve everything, but you just know that like the characters won't do that thing because of the circumstances. Ah, it's so frustrating and I'm just like sitting here and I'm like, do that thing, do that thing. Like it'll solve all your problems. And of course that thing was not done. And so like, this is just starting off. Like the angst is literally like, I don't know of an angstier situation. Most of Cassandra Clare's books are full of angst. So yeah, they're also angsty, but this is like literally angst to like, I don't know what level, but like a level that I'm enjoying, but it's also like so hard to read because I'm like, oh my God. And like unexpected characters are working together and oh, we just get, we just get stuff happening and it's everything to me. There's a reason I call myself Shadowhunter's Trash because I literally love this series so freaking much. Also like annotating a lot more like I did in Chain of Gold and I just like love, I already have a decent amount of tabs. So yeah, I actually have the rest of the afternoon off because I'm about to go get my second dose of the vaccine. So I took the rest of the day off just to like chill. So my plan is to like just read this. Like I'm probably gonna read for a little bit before I have to leave. And then I'm gonna just like hang out and read Chain of Iron on my time that I have off. So I can't wait. I'm like, oh my God, it's just so good. It's just so good. Another aspect of this book that I really like is so each chapter has like a poem and in that poem is where the chapter title is pulled from. So it's really kind of interesting to kind of like pay attention to the poems at the beginning of each chapter. And I've been trying to do this more because usually I just skim them um, and kind of like see how they relate to the chapter itself. So I've been taking notes like in, at the top of the chapters like how it can like relate and like also like for example like the quotes in the beginning of the parts so this was actually a quote from the famous stalking jack the ripper notes like the real life ones <laughs> not stalking jack the ripper why did i say stalking jack the ripper like carrie man's galco jack the ripper notes um from like you know back in the day so like that's hinting i think and in the plot summary it said like one of the points of the book is that there's like a serial killer on the loose which to me like indicates like that's what this book's gonna be about so it's really interesting to kind of like pay attention to the context clues because she really layers in a lot hello so it's saturday april 17th and i'm about to go and do something fun but before i do that i wanted to update all my progress with Chain of Iron. This book is literally everything that I thought it was gonna be and more. I'm like halfway through so you can see <laughs> where I've tabbed up to. I've literally been going through like so many tabs. I don't know the best way to show them off. But like yeah, you can just see all of the tabs, all of the, the angst and the feelings in this first half of the book. So I'm at page 332, which is just about halfway. And this book is just like so full of angst and pain and suffering and I love it. Like, I feel like this series is like one of the most angstiest series I've ever read. And I'm just living for every single second of the angst. There are so many scenes that I've just like had to tab on the top because like of the emotional pain. And like, like Cassandra Clare just has such a way of setting up these circumstances of these characters that belong together and have feelings for each other, but like can't be together. Like have all these obstacles in between them. And it's just so expertly done. And it's just like, different for every couple and like 
And of course, even the antagonistic characters have hidden depths to them, like Grace is someone who is always very suspect and I didn't like her in the first book, but we're kind of learning more about her and like why she is the way that she is and it's so intriguing to see. But it's just really fun to like learn about all these characters and see like all the things that are going on and just like I ended it last night on like such like a big emotional turning point for these characters and I don't know just everything is torture and Cordelia just did something that I'm not sure if it was a good idea or not but she kind of did it without thinking and I'm just like what's going on and then there's just so many sweet moments between James and Cordelia and I'm like oh my god like if you read this book you just like no and then Lucy and Jesse are like my faves see when they were dancing just anyways i yeah clearly i love pain and suffering so if you like those things too you should read this series i'm hoping to hopefully finish it this weekend so i have about like 300 pages left which i feel like is achievable for a saturday and a sunday and like whenever i just start reading this book i just get so drawn into it and into this world and it's just really amazing Okay, so it's 2 a.m. and I am now on page 478 and so far, I mean, it's just amazing as always and like there has been so much angst occurring. So like new ships, like revealing th things that were revealed that literally had me shook and there is like a murder mystery kind of at the heart of this, which is really fun. I'm kind of like Lady Midnight also had a murder mystery. So I kind of love when Cassandra Clare incorporates those plot lines into her books because like she's just so good at writing them. And what I really liked is she took kind of like the thing, like the usual plot element that would be suspected and turned it onto its head. So like now I just have no idea because like anything that I like thought was going on was basically like disproved and like oh my god like just like the ships and like the relationship moments between the characters there like i was literally like, screaming at some of these moments in this book she creates these new like ships and then like just the way that these characters are able to like relate to one another like with christopher who is just like very so focused on his science that he's just so like unaware of everything else and then the character that he is like a hint at being paired with oh it's just so good it's just so good also like when i went to the cassandra claire event she said that like that family tree in the edition of clockwork princess is like going to be explained in this book and it hasn't been explained yet but i'm wondering if the explanation is just that like it's true I don't know. Like, I can tell I'm at the point where things are about to get, like, absolutely bonkers, which is why I stopped for the night, because it's 2 a.m. Because if I kept going, I wouldn't stop. And then it would be very early, and I would be very tired. Okay, hello. It's late Sunday. It's, like, 1.30 in the morning. I just finished shave iron. The emotional turmoil is high. So apparently my camera died in the last clip that I had in this vlog. So I'm back. This is editing Katie. I just so happen to have makeup on. And I wanted to say that this book was everything. I adored it. It's everything that I've come to love and expect in a Cassandra Clare series. And it's amazing. Definitely check it out if you are interested. And thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my face. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.